Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to continue the Brazilian Woody mod. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey howdy hey partners, we are here to mod Woody Brazil Rare Body. I went on eBay and I looked for another 1995 Woody. This one's the floppy version with no wires. It actually came with spurs, which is weird. I didn't know that. I think we made maybe some variants with spurs, but no wires. It has Cameron. He is a fan of this channel, so he sold it to me. Thanks, Toy Story CMS, I think your name is. I need these movie accurate hands uh, to put on Brazil Woody. Now you may be asking yourself, why are you going with a 1995 Woody hand? Well, let me show you here a lineup. This is the Disney Store Disney hand. As you can tell, the skin tone is not a movie accurate. It's a little too dark and tan. This one's closely painted to match uh, my movie accurate Woody doll's face. So as you can see, it is a lighter um, color, which is truer to the movie. And then here, this is the new 95 uh, movie accurate hand. It's already the right color. So if I got a Disney store one here, I would have to paint match it to the face. I'm not really that good at painting. So I like to kind of find parts that already work. And this is already made by Thinkway Toys, so why not use a Thinkway Toys movie accurate hand if one exists? So this is Disney Store. It's not a bad hand by any means. As you can tell, it's the same one as I have on my movie accurate one with JC Alva. He painted it though, um, as you can see, he did a good job because the original one is that color and that's the wrong color. But it's still a nice hand. This is the 95 hand. This is the Disney Store hand. They are pretty identical. There is very, very few things that I can see that I'm like, hmm, it's different, but it's pretty much the same thing, except you already have movie accurate paint applied from the factory, Thinkway Toys. So, and it kind of looks more realistic here on the top of the hand. For the most part, I really like the hands. So you can see these hands are pretty identical. There's just a little more detailed definition here on the 95 hand. So Thinkway Toys had a movie accurate hand once upon a time. I don't know why they changed it to a closed hand later on. If you want to transplant the hands, you're going to need scissors. Also, I found these nylon cable tie. They're just mini zip ties. I measured this. This is perfect for the hands. It's too small for the head, a zip tie, but these are perfect for the hand because they're not as big. I got this in a kit on Amazon to find the perfect size. If you want a link to that, affiliate link to that, please check the description of this video for the link to buy these or the comments. I'll pin this link so that you can buy these zip ties because they're small and perfect for the hand swap. The head swap, you need a little longer tie, but I got it in a, in a set where you get different sizes. So this is a perfect zip tie for the hands. So to do this, you can already tell on 95 Woody, you had the zip tie already kind of poking through there. So that happens on wear and tear on these dolls. What you can do is just go in here and you have to make the incision with your scissors. I'm gonna go in here and go around the fabric or underneath the zip tie with my scissors. And then I'm gonna be able to cut it right off. I made the cut with the scissors and as you can see the zip tie in here slips right out. So you don't need that. You see how it has holes here? So you can always thread a new zip tie and add a new hand. So you're not really ruining the doll. You can always just add another hand. I notice it's kind of flattened right here, so that helps us. It's not too bulky like some of the other ones, Disney Store ones I've seen. So if you actually kind of as a test put it in here before the zip tie, I can see that it's not too thick on the joint actually, which is really surprising. And then you'll have the articulation. But I'm just really surprised because I was expecting this not to fit in the cuff for the Brazil Woody. But it actually does fit and I feel like it didn't change the shape at all at all so that's actually really good to know the Brazil Woody it you don't need to modify the hand joint because it didn't add any bulk at all as you can see it just it slides right in and there's no um, actual added bulk so what you have to do is uh, find the hole inside of the fabric that you cut and thread the zip tie in that pocket all the way around Make sure uh, Woody's hand is securely put in all the way, and then you're going to tighten this zip tie all the way until it can't go anymore. And then you're going to cut this off, and that's it. You'll have your articulated hands for Woody. As you can see, Woody's hand could still spin 360 and articulate, 
it's not going anywhere so the zip tie works it it's very tight and secure but you can still rotate the wrist so this was a success the hand transplant now this side was a little easier to show you what I meant. Here you have to fold down the cuff so that you can get access to the sleeve where the zip tie threads through and you can tighten it to lock Woody's hand in place. The zip tie has been threaded through the pocket so you got it through the other side. Let's get that in. So yeah that is how you know you're gonna get a really good tie there. And just make sure that it's really far in there because you need the zip tie to go around the wrist part. So spend some time getting that in tightly. Well, I got it in there very tightly and as you can see he has articulation. So what you want to do is when you pull the zip tie, do pull it tight but you know make sure there's still some movement in the hand. I'm tightening it now and we're gonna just cut it right there. So I did cut it down a little bit more and then we're gonna shove everything here get the cuff back up so that we can hide everything. Here's a secret I discovered. Get another zip tie, the excess that you cut off, and just start shoving the fabric in like this. You don't want to cut the extra threads, you just want to hide them. So just kind of shove them back in the wrist so it looks a lot neater and clean. So I think this is a good little secret hack to make your Woody doll look even better. There we go, another hand swap complete. I can still turn his wrist, it's not a problem, and I can pull on it really hard, it's not going anywhere. So that worked out really nice, I'm happy with that. As you see partners, Woody's starting to look more like Woody every time I mod Woody. These hands are awesome, it, it's the perfect uh, movie accurate hand for Woody. Open handed, 1995 doll, I really like that. The favorite part about these is that you can still articulate the wrist and the hand does not come out. So the zip tie can go a long way for your movie accurate Woody mods. It really makes a huge difference. And now one thing you probably noticed already, how did you get the vest to look brand new? And I still have to paint this side. The secret is Sharpie. All you have to do is go to your nearest craft store or office supply store and look for the ultra fine point Sharpie permanent marker, black of course. As you can see here on the Woody boot, the fine point sharpie is a great idea because you can add details and darken things without having to deal with messy paints. Now here's something really awesome. The vest, when I washed it, it made the white whiter, but it made the black fade. So it was good news for the white, but bad news for the black print. So what I did was I got fabric paint because I thought that was going to work better, but it ended up, I tested it on another woody vest that I had extra and it was a bad idea. The paint got all over the place, it smeared. So I thought to myself, I'm not going to risk using harsh paints on this rare Brazil woody because if I ruin the vest, this is the best part of this is the vest. I can't ruin it. All I did was use the fine point Sharpie and I painted it very carefully. I made sure I put sharp ends. So you can see the sharp coming out because it makes it look more like imprinted cowhide fabric. So I really wanted to keep the realism and the patterns. I didn't want to change the patterns. So I just went over the faded parts like you see here. These are the faded parts. And I darkened them and as you can see it came out perfectly. So it looks now brand new. So I need to darken this side. And I need to darken this side. But you can tell the huge contrast difference between what I touched up with the Sharpie and what is still faded. So I'm going to show you up close. I don't like doing these things on camera, but I know it's essential uh, for you partners to learn how I'm doing these things. I often get asked a lot of questions every day about modding Woody and people always ask me, how did you do this? Or how did you, how did you make it look so good? And I do want to share that there is no wrong or right way to do these things. It's just very time consuming. So a lot of the things that I do on camera, I make it look easy or like it only took five minutes to do. But in reality, these um, videos that I make take a long time to plan and test and experiment because when I get on camera, I wanna make sure these things work for you partners. I really, really want you guys to succeed as well. So this is why this is an experiment. I've never done anything like this before in my life. So it's fun to see what is possible if we just put a little hard work into it. Always work hard, put your mind to it, follow your dreams, never give up, and you can make impossible and the possible, and all your dreams can come true. But 
it is hard work. <laughs> so as you can see, um, it's coming together nicely. As you can see, I just have to go back and forth many times. I usually go back and forth three or four times. As you can see, I'm just going to keep going. And eventually I'm going to get really careful when I get to the, to the edges. I'm going to be extra careful because I don't want to mark, I don't want to mess with the pattern that's already here. I really believe this pattern, the Brazil vest, is truly movie accurate. So I don't want to ruin that. So you can see, as I am already did the first coat, it's already looking amazing. So I'm going to spend a lot of time darkening the vest for you partners, but I wanted you to first see how I got that process going to go from a fade look to a brand new look, which I'm going for that brand new, well, as brand new as possible look because I did wash this vest and it faded. Well, partners, that was a success. I really like the Brazilian woody vest. Here is my 2009 Cloud USA version. So you can just see the difference between how awesome this vest is. And now that I gave him a wash, I washed him twice actually in the laundry before I dyed his jeans. And uh, now that I darken the, the black patterns on the vest, it really does look awesome. So the Brazil Woody Vest is the best one you can get if you can find it because I heard they're only sold, uh, my, my friend Toy Story and Al, Jordy online, he told me that they only sold this Brazil Woody in 11 Toys R Us stores in Brazil and that was it. So it was a very limited collection Woody release. So it's very rare. This looks 100% movie accurate. Compared to the movie still, if you look at the vest, it looks exactly like the movie. So Thinkway Toys did make a movie accurate vest. It just was very rare on this Woody Brazilian body. But I'm very happy with the simple uh, solution of using a Sharpie because you don't want to use harsh paints because that could damage the vest. So I think the Sharpie method worked best and now the vest looks brand new because he's been washed and touched up and I didn't use any harsh paints. And the Sharpie method was easy to do. You just have to go very slow, be very careful to not go over the pattern. <laughs> so you don't want to ruin that part, but I'm just so impressed with how brand new it looks. I'm super happy with the final result. So we have the Brazil Woody Movie Accurate Boots. We have the dyed jeans, so they're perfect. We have the Rumi and the Holster mod. We have the Movie Accurate Color Belt Buckle. We have the Open Hands that are accurate from 1995. And we have a brand new looking vest touched up with the Sharpie method that actually worked. So at this point, partners, I have the Movie Accurate head on its way and I got a squishy 3D printed head, so it looks accurate to Toy Story 2. But we'll see, if it ends up looking like another version of Woody, I'm okay with that. So I still need to attach the movie accurate head. I'm gonna be adding a movie accurate voice box with accurate pull string ring, so that will be added to him. So retract, of course. And then I'm gonna do accurate threading on Woody's hat for the vinyl stitching, so that's another mod that I'm gonna do. And then after that, I might do a button mod. I really like this movie accurate Woody Brazil. He's come a long way from what he used to look like, but I just really am excited as I keep modding him. He keeps looking better and better, and he keeps looking more and more movie accurate. We're really close to finishing movie accurate Woody Brazil Toy Story Collection Rare Mod. I'm really excited for this process. It's been fun to do, and hopefully along the way you've learned some techniques if you're modding your Woody, so you can understand how these woodies are modded. As always, partners, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear. You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham. Look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.